Having trouble trying to figure out where the cue ball naturally goes? This might be the video for you. What's going on everybody? Little Chris here and in today's video we're going to talk about where the cue ball will naturally go when you shoot a shot with a center ball hit. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to understand is how the cue ball actually travels across the table when it's struck in the middle. A lot of players are not aware that when you actually hit the cue ball in the middle it'll actually slide across the table for a brief moment and then start to roll forward just like if you were to take any natural ball and just roll it along the ground. I'm hoping to demonstrate that here with the 11 ball. As we try to watch when I hit the 11 ball in the middle, we're going to see it slide across the table for a brief moment and then start to roll forward. Were you actually able to see the slide? So based on what we just saw, when you hit the cue ball in the middle, it can hit another ball in two different ways. It can either slide into the ball when it makes contact, or it can be rolling forward when it makes contact. Both scenarios will have a different effect on the cue ball after contact is made. Now you might be wondering, how far will a cue ball actually slide across the table before it actually starts to roll forward? On average, depending upon the conditions of the table, it's roughly about a foot. So let's look at what happens to the cue ball when you strike another ball that's only one foot away. Here I've set up the 11 ball. Hopefully you can see by the measuring tape it is one foot away from the cue ball. And I'm going to shoot it in the side pocket. So let's watch what happens with a center ball hit, how the cue ball is going to react after contact. Practically stops right on contact as it has no forward momentum for it to roll forward and follow after the 11 ball. So now what happens to the cue ball when it's actually rolling forward when it makes contact with another ball? Here we have the 11 ball set up again, but this time it's further away than a foot. So watch what happens with the center ball hit. By the time the cue ball gets there, it's not going to be sliding anymore. It's actually going to be rolling forward. and the cue ball follows the 11 ball right into the pocket and scratches. Now, how many times have y'all done that before? Now you've seen where the cue ball will naturally roll for a straight in shot whenever you strike the cue ball in the center. But where does it go on a cut shot? Well, first, let's understand a very basic concept. If you cut a ball to the right, your cue ball will go off to the left. And then much like the opposite, that if you cut a ball to the left, then your cue ball will go off to the right. Now where exactly where the cue ball go to the right or left is dependent upon if the cue ball slides into the object ball or if the cue ball is actually rolling forward when it makes contact. In this particular example here, I've set up a shot to where I want to shoot the eight ball into the corner pocket. If the cue ball slides into the eight ball and makes contact while it is sliding, the cue ball will go off in the opposite direction from the eight ball at a 90 degree angle that will actually take me here straight to the side pocket. This 90 degree line is what's known as the tangent line. This is the line that the cue ball will travel only if it is sliding into the object ball when contact is made. Let's see how that works. Now 
The cue ball is sliding into the eight ball when it makes contact. The eight ball goes off to the right, while the cue ball goes off to the left at a 90 degree angle from the path that the eight ball is traveling. That is something very good to know whenever you're going to make a cut shot and you are aware that by the time the cue ball makes contact with the object ball, it is sliding into the ball and therefore will go off at that 90 degree angle and you hopefully will be able to determine if you scratch or not. Now let's see the same shot again, only this time there's a little bit more distance between the cue ball and the eight ball, which should allow the cue ball to start rolling forward by the time contact is made. This is actually going to allow the cue ball to travel the tangent line, but as it's traveling the tangent line, the forward roll will start pushing the cue ball above the tangent line, causing it to contact the side rail here on this side of the side pocket. Let's see how that looks. Remember, because the cue ball is actually rolling forward when contact is made, that causes the cue ball to travel the tangent line, and as it's traveling the tangent line, it'll start rolling above the tangent line. And in this particular example, it allowed me to avoid the scratch. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. I hope I was able to clearly demonstrate where the cue ball naturally wants to go when it is hit directly in the center. There is one more thing I would like to add before we go. Earlier I said that the cue ball will travel about a foot before it starts to roll forward. There is actually one little change that you can do that can cause it to roll forward a little bit sooner, and that is to hit the ball softer. So remember that if you hit the cue ball roughly at about a medium pace, it'll travel about a foot before it starts to roll forward. But if you hit the cue ball softer, it will start to roll forward a little bit sooner, which could cause the cue ball to do something a little bit different than expected from your normal average hit. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I've got plenty more to teach. Take care, everybody.